Well, I wanted you to get a chance to see all the beautiful flowers that Nancy and her crew put together poinsettias for this season. It really is kind of a strange thing to have them here and so beautiful. And we'll show them off a little bit more at Christmas Eve. But, um, you know, let's remember and be thankful for all that God has given us in this season. We're into our fourth Sunday of the Christian year, the fourth Sunday of Advent. We've been looking at this series called The Fear Knots of Christmas. And today we're going to look at the shepherds and the peace that was offered to them. The angels came to them and said, glory to God in the highest and peace on earth. And surely don't we need that right now in this season. We need to hear the words of the angels, fear not. We also need to be able to then claim the promises that God has given us in this season. My hunch is that we need to hear these words today, fear not. And that's what we're gonna look at. In the midst of all of the unrest that's around us, and this is gonna be a Christmas like no other, we can still be people who find God's peace, his hope, his joy, his love, and not just for ourselves, but to give it away. That's really what it means for us to be people of faith. So again, just some of the standard stuff you know about. Fill out a connect card, please do. Uh, helps us to, to, to know who's connecting in and staying in touch in the church. It's a good season to come back. If some folks are away, welcome back. Add your prayers to the prayer chain. We're sending those out every Thursday through our community connection. And again, there's a weekly community connection. If you're not signed up for that, it's the best way to stay informed of all that's going on. I can't, I don't want to spend too much time talking about the stuff here. You can read about it. Some of those links are right at the bottom of this, this uh, intro. So make sure you read through those and connect in. And also, please continue to bless us with your gifts. You know, it's the end of the year. And some of you, you know, made some commitments. And if you can keep them, praise God. And if you've gotten a little behind, you'd like to get, get caught up, it would bless us. Uh, obviously, in the midst of so much going on, we understand if you can't. Um, but uh, and we, we want to we reach out into our community in, in new and creative ways and help us with that. Let's figure out how to do that well together. So what's going on? And this is it. You know, this is Christmas week, starting after today, Monday. So Dave has put together another one of his blessed Christmas Eve Eve services. There's information again on the website about that. Christmas Eve, we've got two services, five and 7 p.m. The five o'clock is going to be an outdoor service, so you can come to the church. We need you to reserve your spot by about Tuesday so we can figure out where we need to hold it and, uh, and make sure that we get everything planned out, keep everybody socially distanced, all we need to go with it. So it's going to be outside, wear your mask, you know, sing under your breath, uh, but don't sing out. And um, Paul's going to bless us with music and, and we'll hear some scripture. And then we'll just light some candles because we need a little light in this season, don't we? We want to do it in such a way that we can let uh, our community see it. Maybe even the convalescent center across the street. Seven o'clock, an online streaming service that is not going to be in-person worship. We're just not to that place yet with our, our team. So um, please tune in. If you're not going to come at five, come at seven and just from your home. We talked a lot about making a sacred space. You know, sit down next to your Christmas tree read the scriptures and just have this sacred holy moment. It's going to be a simple service, contemplative service, and just encourage you with that. December 27th, next Sunday, the Baltimore-Washington Conference Cabinet, our DSs and bishop have put together a worship service, so that's going to air. Uh, so there's not going to be a streaming service from us. It's going to be our, the bishop and cabinet offering a, a worship service after Christmas for everyone. So again, tune in at 9.30 like you normally do, and uh, one service for us. And uh, tonight is the last Advent gathering. Uh, so if you'd like to come out and be with us as we light our fourth candle in our homes, I encourage you to do that and we'll just share and bless and talk and grab a cup of coffee. So let's pray. God, um, thank you for the gift of this day and for this season that you've brought us through. The people who have walked in darkness are seeing a great light and uh, not just light from candles. We want that light to be shining in us and on us and through us. So, Lord, pour your spirit into us. Shine your light upon us and fill us this day, especially with your peace, your shalom. We know there's going to come a day when you're going to wipe all the tears away and there's going to be everlasting peace. No more weapons, no more war, no more murder, no more violence. But until that day, you have offered us kingdom inside, in our souls, in our hearts. And in that kingdom, peace is to reside. 
So I pray, Holy Spirit, that you do that work in us today, and not just today, but every day, as we journey together through this crazy year and into a new year. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, hope you're blessed by the Advent candle lighting that's coming up. Really cool stuff. Thank you, families, for participating in that, for the Lee family today and everybody else that participated. Be blessed. I'll see you uh, at the sermon time.